Hello, this is my EPC 1005HA, and I'm going to show you how to take it apart um, to replace the wireless card, as I earlier promised. I apologize for the uh, poor cameramanship. Uh, I did this with one hand, and I did it when I was very tired. Uh, you're going to start off by unscrewing all the screws um, that are exposed on the bottom. So you go to the four corners, and then you're going to remove the RAM plate as well. Takes a little force to get that RAM plate off, but don't worry, it won't it won't snap. Uh, then there's one more screw here, and I'm not sure if it's required to be removed, but I remove it anyways, just in case. It's right there. It's the only silver one that you'll come across, so you'll know which one to put back inside the RAM plate. You put the silver one. Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, remove the battery as well. Go ahead and remove the battery before you go any further. And obviously make sure the computer is not plugged into a power source. Okay, there's the one last screw on the bottom. Okay, one, two, three, four and the RAM plate and the silver screw. Okay, go ahead and flip it over and open her up. At this point you're gonna have to remove the keyboard. Um, if you look carefully in between the front edge of the keyboard and the plastic case there are three or four little tabs. You see it right right at the F1 key. You have to press press in those little stoppers so that you can lift the keyboard up. Um, I'm using a, a butter knife to uh, to prop the keyboard up and you're gonna just work your way over to the right. When you get to the far end there's a little piece of tape inside that's holding that far right end down which is why it's gonna be really difficult to get that other side up. So um, as much as I hate using force with electronics you're gonna have to put a little bit of force into it See that um, that tape right there, right by that screw um, in the USB port. So, anyways, once you've popped your keyboard out, you gotta unplug it. Um, so there are these t there's a brown piece with these two black tabs. You just gotta pop those two black tabs out, and the keyboard comes right out. <clears throat> and at this point, we have more screws to unscrew. Um, That one right there is the warranty screw. Um, there's a piece of yellow tape that goes across it. If you pull that piece of tape off, you will void your warranty. So, just fair warning. Okay, um, I recommend you do this uh, on a on a towel of some sort so that you don't have any screws bounce anywhere and you don't want to lose any of these screws. Okay. Forgot to do this one. Okay. 
So at this point you have all of your screws out. Um, it would be good if you separated the internal screws from the bottom exterior screws. They're probably the same, but you know, you might as well. Alright, um, I wasn't really sure how to do this with one hand um, and one hand on the camera, so I put the camera down and tried to show you as best I could. But basically, you're going to start on that right, right top corner and you, you're going to pop the case from the top off the bottom and you're going to go around the computer uh, starting at the top right, move to the bottom right, then move to the bottom left, and then move to the top left. Um, and the the way to do it is uh, the way the way the case is hooked together is the top piece is the way the way you remove it is to push it away from the outer edge of the computer. Um, again, I wasn't sure exactly how to show you this the best way, but um, if you mess around with it, you'll figure it out. You just gotta go around. Um, don't be afraid to give it a little bit of pressure. Again, I don't like using brute force, but um, there's not much room to work with, so you're gonna have to make it pop. Okay, now you've got your top case removed. Okay, and you can see it's still connected with the cable. Um, you could remove it. Uh, you could remove that cable, but it's not really necessary if all you're doing is replacing the wireless card. Um, all you all you have to do is just instead of pull lifting it up towards you, just sort of shove it forward um, so that it lays on top of the monitor. Again, I'm sorry for the bad camera angles. Okay, so you got your wireless card here. Um, this black cord connected to this golden piece of metal right here, um, it's very, very small, but you have to sort of pry it up with like a, f a small flathead, just, just sort of gently pop it off, and then you're going to install it in the same place on the next card. Um, that screw under the cable right there needs to be removed, and then this black piece of plastic where the, uh, the PCIe port is, basically that's where you plug the actual card into. Um, once you pull it out, just put the new card in its place, put down that screw, and then replace that, uh, that little brass piece onto that same exact plug. Thanks a lot for watching, and good luck!